Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, it's Alex here and today we are doing the team building video for week 2. Now, the match is still yet to happen, um, you know, after this uh, team building we'll be going straight into the battle so be, aware, be prepared guys, I, I think this is going to be a bumpy ride, a very bumpy ride. So this is a team here that I've chosen, um, first of all I'd like to welcome our newest addition to the team, Celesteela, which will add some much needed bulk and very very defensive physically and it's an absolute tank. So I swapped Celesteela for Starmie because I, st I, uh, I took Starmie as a, a, an OU Pokemon in the draft without realising it was UU. And so Celesteela became available, so I switched Celesteela for Starmie, and then I took, I took Starmie back and I swapped out Zygarde 10%, which I think is really good in my doing, and I think it's a, a very worthwhile trade. So anyway, this is the team here, um, I'll just tell you why I chose this team. So Charizard X, so as you already know, Charizard is the... He's, he's my favourite Pokemon, he's the Mega, he's probably the strongest Pokemon on this team. Now, Charizard, he does um, counter quite a few of Lantern's team, which is why I chose him. Um, I'm just trying to get a, a wee list of Lantern's team here, just so I can go over it. Da -da 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 -da. So let's see. So, yes. So... Lantern's team is Garchomp, Breloom, Scolopede, Mew, Bisharp, Volcanion, Mega Glalie, Jolteon, Pukumuku, Smeargle, Wigglytuff, and Golurk. Now that's a that's a good lineup there. Um, it is very threatening and very strong. But the reason I chose Charizard is because Charizard counters Garchomp, counters Breloom, counters Scolopede, counters Bisharp, counters Volcanion. Counters Glalie, counters Jolteon, and it can deal with the rest of them as well, quite quite easily. So as you can see, um, Charizard was a must in this team, um, with all that, with that tight coverage, especially with the, the moveset I've given it with the Fire Punch and Dragon Claw and the Earthquake. And if, if I got that Dragon Dance up, I'd be out speeding Garchomp. So uh, just in case Garchomp was scarfed. So on to the next Pokemon, which is Celesteela. Now, Celesteela, obviously, this is quite a typical move set I put on it and everything. But um, I needed something in case that this shark started to sort of, you know, poke it, like get get itself built up. Um, Celesteela would handle a sucker punch quite nicely, I believe, um, as well as any sort of iron type attacks. And I brought Flamethrower, especially for Bisharp if it came, but not only that, Flamethrower hits a lot of um, Lantern's Pokemon, which is like Garchomp, Breloom, Scolopede, Galileo, um, yeah. So, Celesteela was that physical bulk that I needed. Now, the next Pokemon I brought was Comfy. As you can see, a typical triage set there. And Comfy... I brought mainly for Breloom, just in case it was a I saw a, a Breloom spore set or anything like that. Um, obviously, that'd be very annoying to, to come up against. Um, but yeah, uh, Breloom. Uh, well, Comfy takes a uh, Garchomp and Breloom, right? Like, like that's quite handy. And not only that, I can do some damage to other Pokemon if he brought it, brought them. So Comfy is very ha handy to have as well. Um, so the next Pokemon I brought was Blissey. Now Blissey, obviously it's my special tank and can set up, to give, put out Toxic and stuff. So that's that's why I brought it. I decided to give Blissey a go instead of uh, Cresselia this week, and just uh, just in case he came up against his special attackers like Volcanion and Jolteon. Um, but this team, the team that I was against, doesn't have many special attacking Pokemon, which is Quite strange. I know Glalie can um, do special attacking, but the others they're they're not really special attackers, which is weird. So 
The next Pokemon is Starmie. Now, Starmie, as you can see, it's a rapid spin set. I brought, I took rapid spin um, just in case Smeargle wanted to make an appearance. And there's uh, the set there, so Scald, Psychic, Ice Beam, exactly the same set I brought the last time against um, the Marowak, so Austin Alolan Marowak. If you yeah, if you haven't saw that yet already, guys, go check it out. It's a good, it was a good, very good battle. But as you can see down below, the score is there. So, yeah. <laughs> and the last Pokemon I brought was Machamp. Now Machamp, I thought he could uh, take a good hit. He could also deal out a good hit. Um, it was mainly for that Bisharp again, and I wanted a knockoff for that Mew. And you know what, uh, Machamp, even though it, it doesn't, other than uh, Bisharp, it doesn't really counter anyone fully. It counters uh, Mega Glalie and Bisharp. Um, obviously with the variety of moves it can take out Garchomp and Mew and Jolteon, Pukamuku, Smeargle. It can take out take them out with the move, like, moveset it does, but it doesn't really counter them. But yeah, that's the team guys. and. I hope you like your team, so let's get into this battle and let's hopefully win this for our first win of the season. So there we go, so we see Jolteon, Pukumuku, Mew, we also see Garchomp, we see Volcanion and Scolipede. So, <clears throat> who do I want to start off with? Hmm. I see. We start off with Charizard. So right away he goes into um Pukumuku. So I'm going to go for Celesteel up. <coughs> I'm going to Leech Seed. So we've got the Leech Seed off, which is good, but he has taunted, so I can't go into the sub. And Volcanion comes out, so I'm going to go into my Blissey. And Blissey tanks that quite nicely, but gets gets the burn, unfortunately. I'm going to go for the T-Wave. Right, so what set are you running on this thing? I'm going to go into Celesteela quickly. Just in case it's a physical set. Hmm. Ah, so it's got heal bell. Alright, so this is where the annoying part comes in. So I'm going to Hmm. <clears throat> so let's see. Who are you going to go into? Goes for the Thunderbolt. Tank that quite nicely. And now we are going to go into Blissey. And we're going to go for the seismic toss. Yes, seismic toss. And we're going to toxic this thing. <coughs> so 
So I'm going to go over to Matchamp. I'm hoping this thing isn't physical. Hoping. I'm hoping. And then I'm going to go for a nice punch. Dynamic punch. <laughs> So this is kind of a sort of set where he's sort of like a healer sort of thing, I'm looking, I believe. So I am going to go for another knockoff. Oh, so he's knocked me off. Might as well sponge the knockoffs here, just in case he switches into that guard jump, which is probably going to be what? Scarfed? So no more leftovers for the cucumber, the god cucumber that is. Gonna go for a nice punch. Nah, did nothing. Dynamic punch. Should knock it out. Nope. And down goes the cucumber. Two match amps. No no guard. As um, he's just realised in the chat there, he's at that no guard. Um, so Pukimuku goes down here. Volcanian comes out. And I'm going to go for a dynamic punch. And that's a crit, and down goes Hades. So we're going to go over to Cell Steel here. And Jigsaw is not going to take that nicely because uh, you know what? That is. Oh, so he's swords danced. Mm. Which means star me out speeds. So I'm going to go substitute here. Cell Steel can tank that all day. So it's a life orb set. And Garchomp's going to go down here, no matter what. Oh, so close. Still, still uh, takes that nicely. They were looking, we're looking quite good here. I must, I must say. So, I'm going to go out to Blissey. Who votes and uh, he votes switches. Right, so Scolopede comes in. Now I'm going to go for Cell Steel here. Go for a flamethrower because um, I went for an air slash here, but I'm gonna. Oh, he misses the mega horn, that's not good. <clears throat> so, as you can see, he's doing alright. I must say, like, I have battled Lantern before, and he's. He has done worse, but he's doing not all right this match. So he's 
So I'm gonna just go on a bus here. And I'm gonna just seismic toss. I'm going to Charizard and hopefully I'm going to sweep them off now. If I, do, if I get a second dragon dance, I'll have one. And so I'm going to go for a dragon claw, which should take down DNA. Yep, there goes DNA. And then we've got ox oxygen. Just going to fire punch that. And then last but not least, Jolte on. Well, Lantern, I must say, very good game. Very, very good game. Well, guys, that's week two over. As you can see, I won, and that was 6-0 for me. And, yeah, things are getting a little bit less salty over here with this victory. But I'd like to say good game to Lantern. And, yeah, guys, if you liked the video, you know, hit that like button. And if you want to see more of this, please subscribe. Um, I'm a bit tired so you know I wasn't chatting as much here but yeah all the best for the future and I'll see you then